Borland, creating products that provide solutions so that your air conditioning and refrigeration needs are not only met, but exceeded. Offer the highest quality products, innovative solutions, and unparalleled support in the market. Guys, we're looking at the Fleur CM174 clamp meter with thermal imaging. Now, I'm going to give you a little rundown. I've used this clamp meter for about a month and a half, so I got a pretty good feel for it. I've used it on all my service calls. I am an HVAC technician by trade. So we're going to go over some of the pros and cons of this particular meter. Like I said, it is a clamp meter. As you can tell, the clamp itself I would say I put it in the middle of the range as far as clamps go. I've had a lot of them that feel a little bit more sturdy than this one, but it does fine. It's not too cumbersome, not too large. It's not as easy to hook things as it would be with a Testo 770-3 that has the retractable clamp. This one has the old style like this. There is an accessory amp clamp that goes with this, but it's even larger. It's the large flexible type circular accessory. It is, as we go to the top here, you can see it's category 4, 600 volts, category 3, at 1,000 volts, 600 amps, and it does AC current and DC current. That's one of the things that I liked about it. So let's look. We have a mode button that's just going to toggle in between different settings on each of these other settings. It is auto ranging or manual ranging. We can hit the button. You can see the ranging change. We'll hold the button down. It goes back has the hold min max feature that is pretty common on most meters has a VFD mode the light you hold down the VFD and it's actually a really good light it's pretty impressive actually for a light I don't know how many lumens it is but it's an impressive light so I think that's probably at the top realm of most meters lighting capabilities I know the field piece does have a light on it when you open the amp clamp but it is inferior to this one the blue button in the middle there is the thermal imaging button. We hit that and it switches over to that mode. Watch it pop up here. Not going to see much because we do have pretty much nothing there. Let's look at the monitor over here. You can see the monitor is warm. We have volts, AC and DC, ohms and tone. We have capacitance as well as a diode test, amp measurement, DC and AC. So that's kind of nice. Some clamps don't have the DC measurements. We have a low Z filter here and the accessory amp clamp, which plugs into the bottom. As you can see down here is indicated. You can see you plug that stuff into the bottom of the meter. So let's talk a little bit about the pros and cons of the meter. Now, I have this whole list of pros and cons we can go over. Now, as far as pros, we'll start with the fact that it has a lot of the things that we need. It has the amp clamp on top. Even though it may be inferior to some, superior to others, middle of the road amp clamp but still has the feature, volts, capacitance, DC amps. DC amps is something that not all meters have, so that's kind of nice. Has the VFD setting, which is another thing not all meters have. Hold, min, max is pretty standard. Thermal imaging is a definite pro because you don't get that from most multimeters. In fact, just the FLIR bunch usually. Relatively powerful light, relatively compact are the pros to this meter. It's not too heavy. It's probably it's a little bit sturdier than I would say the average meter. They sent me an X-Tech meter to handle as well. I've had the SC57 in the past. I've had a lot of different meters. This is a little bit weightier because of the hardware that's on the inside because it is a thermal imaging meter but not so much that it would bother you at work if you're an HVAC or electrical technician. The cons to this particular meter you don't have amps and volts on the same screen like you do with the ACD14 Pro or let's say the SC, I think it was the SC57, but there's a lot of field piece meters that have the dual display and some that don't. It has a smaller screen than the other thermal imaging meter I tested, the DM284. So it can be a little difficult to see at times because it's significantly smaller than the other screen. It does not come with a box. So you do get the meter, you're going to have to purchase a case for it or have some other means to protect it which is unfortunate because I do believe it should come with a box. Anything of this value should have some sort of case, even if it's just a cloth case, just some sort of effort made to protect it straight from the factory. It does lack some of the features that the DM284 had. It does not have millivolts or microamps. 
So if you are a heating technician, let's say you need microamps to measure flame sensors or millivolts to do thermocouples. And I know that like me and John Israel have talked about thermocouples not being critical because typically if you have a pilot that won't stay on, you'll go ahead and switch the thermocouple. But this does not have the capability of measuring it directly, nor does it have microamps. So heating technicians may want to go to a different meter like the DM284 instead of this one because it does not have those features. You can't put the field piece heads on this meter through the leads because you don't have millivolts. That's another unfortunate con to this meter. Overall, my thoughts are the meter is very nice. I enjoyed using the meter. I enjoyed using the thermal imaging. I mainly use thermal imaging for electrical uses, but I know some of my other buddies out there have used it for troubleshooting the refrigerant circuit. The only con is the actual screen for this is smaller, so it's a little bit of an issue seeing the screen, whereas the DM284 had a much larger screen. Who would I recommend using this product? Well, if you're a heating technician, I'd probably go to a different meter. If you're doing HVAC in the south and you want the added thermal imaging troubleshooting capabilities, I think this will be a good meter for you because it'll have that capability. You'll have everything you need down here, capacitance, volts, amps, everything a southern technician would need that a northern technician would not use. Of course, if your duties range into the heating side, hydronics, you may want to get a different meter like the DM284. The main drawback to that being you don't have the amp clamp on the top. You can add an amp clamp, including the field piece, but you will have to do just that, add it instead. So we'll be giving away this meter on the Working Joe's Podcast YouTube channel in about a week, August 30th, between 9 and 9.30 p.m. If you want to be eligible to win this, go subscribe to the Working Joe's Podcast, either on iTunes or on Android. I use an app called Podcast Addict on Android, and that gets the job done. I have my favorite podcast. I have... Working Joe's podcast, I have the Tradesman, I have HVAC School, the Israel HVAC podcast, and also the Cowboys of HVAC. So I listen to all those guys. A lot of those guys actually give away tools as well. The Cowboys are having a giveaway actually tomorrow, so you might want to tune into that as well. So subscribe to these guys, follow the podcast. The Working Joe's are going to release miniature podcast telling you what to do to win. So make sure you do that because it's a cool tool. You know, it doesn't have all the features that some of you might want, but it is relatively rugged, a sturdy tool, a little bit of weight to it, which does indicate a little bit of quality. It has the thermal imaging. The only things that are really deterrents are the lack of features. The screen's a little bit small. It did not come with a case. It's a small con to not have a case, but it's one of those small touches that you'd like to see coming from the factory. The leads are fine. I actually replaced the leads almost immediately with fluke plunger style leads. I just prefer those. If you like the leads, they're, they're just fine. There's nothing wrong with little rubber leads. I just prefer fluke leads, so that's what I use. Stay tuned really soon. We're going to be giving it away. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share this on Facebook if you think it was a good review. If you like the product, let me know in the comments. If you don't like the product, let me know that in the comments. Would you choose to use this product on your own time? Would you spend your own dollar on it? I mean, it's easy for me to come review a product. They send these to me to review. Would you spend the three, four hundred dollars on thermal imaging meters that's required to have one? Give me a shout in the comments and let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video, whether it be a service call or another product review. See you on the next one.